Here we are guys, this is the thing I've been waiting to try. I'm super excited. It's the Trek Fetch. I can't believe this. <laughs> E-bike for cargo. That means you can carry people or things with you wherever you go. And in this case, we're looking about the city. It's all about urban living. They're helping you get around without the car. This thing is really impressive. Now I wanna go over a few of the features that we've got here on it. First of all, it comes with a Bosch motor. It's got the Bosch Performance CX with the cargo line, which is a completely different software to the other types of motors on the market. It comes with a 750 watt hour battery and it's the smart system which means you can attach your phone here which will automatically charge whilst you're riding and also you can see here all your modes and everything and you can change the settings of the motor according to what you like when you're riding. So with a big heavy bike like this starting out can be difficult but luckily you have a fixed uh, gear system inside the rear hub which allows you to change gear when you're stopped and it works really well. So we'll see that in a minute when we're riding. It also comes with Textro hydraulic brakes, front and rear with discs. Now these type of bikes, they tend to come with a big wheel on the back and a smaller wheel on the front. This helps with steering and making it more maneuverable. In this version, we also have a fork up front from Suntour, which allows a little bit of comfort, let's say, on rough surfaces, surfaces in the city. And we've got Schwalbe tires. As you can see in the front, this version here I've got comes with the ability to have two passengers up to 55 pounds each, or you can carry up to 85 kilos of weight, which is around 160 pounds of weight. The total bike weight, including rider and cargo, can be no more than 250 kilos or around 500 pounds. On the back, we've got the possibility with a carrier as well to carry up to 27 kilos or around 60 pounds in weight. You've got easy access, getting on and off with your leg through, and you also have the ability with a hydraulic seat post to change the saddle height easily. So really it's very easy to get on, sit on it, and off you go. It's got a rear lock, which is integrated into the bike here, which is really useful. Now, another thing to notice on this bike, it's a very quiet ride. It's got a Gates carbon drive, which is basically oil and dirt free and has a wear life, which is very, very long. So you don't need to maintain it. it just leave it, basically. It's such a simple system. Okay, the handlebars at the front, they're quite high, which is ideal, giving you a commanding view and an upright riding position. And they're connected to the front wheel via a cable system, but it's quite progressive. So, for example, if you look at the bars there and the angle of the wheel. Okay, this bike comes with lights as well. We've got a light on the front and a light on the rear. This, you do not need to buy anything. This bike comes ready to ride, ready to roll. If you do have passengers and you live in a damp or cold place, to have a tent-like cover which goes over the front giving passengers the ability to stay dry. You also have the ability to remove this box if you want, this cargo box, and just have the platform open on the front. You want to see on the front how easy it is to move. With very minimal effort, you grab the back of the saddle and you rock it forward. It took absolutely no energy. It's also very maneuverable. I can easily pull it and push it around, especially on a flat surface. The turn, it turns almost in itself. So if I turn it full lock, within the length of the vehicle, it completely rotates. Actually very, very easy to maneuver around. The price of this bike in this current setup, as we see now, is around seven to eight thousand dollars, depending where you are in the world. I'm going to do something a little bit crazy here. I'm going to now load another test bike that I've been riding into the front of this and take it back to the shop where I borrowed it from. We're fully loaded up, ready to roll. This weighs 25 kilos, so 50 pounds. Washing weighs about 15 kilos, so we're running there about 40 kilos of weight. So here I am riding along then, with all my weight. It's very funny. <laughs> You've got to get used to the balance. It's not like a normal bicycle. You steer more by leaning, actually, than using the bar. There is no traffic here, but we're going to go through the middle of town, because it's a bicycle. Do or not? police on their horses. How much stuff can I carry? That's crazy. And it's fine. It feels really comfortable riding. 
taking the cycle route now. Oh, I am love. I love this thing. The brakes I haven't used a great deal, but they do work quite well. The seat post also has a bit of suspension in it, which is very cool. It's actually really easy to navigate with this thing. See, I can pass by. This is the American Embassy, for those of you who want to know. In total lockdown around it, you can't get near it unless you're on a bicycle or by foot. Well, let's see how this goes. We're going to pass in front of a very busy area of Ponte Vecchio. I have to go left around. This is where this really starts to become interesting. Can I get through pedestrian area? I got a, oh, this is absurd. Look at me. Right, we can go right here. It's not twitchy, it's not. Once you're getting used to it, it feels really good. Okay, let's make it easy. Staying in the middle of all the traffic and people. This is mad. Okay, and we're gonna go left. This is Ponte Vecchio. Okay, we have to follow the traffic. Well, let's get on. There's a road is closed, but we just follow the traffic. Okay, all these people. I still don't feel the need to get off and walk, actually. I can't believe this. <laughs> Here we go, right in front of everything. It's pushing the bike with my feet. It's very stable. I'm following the route of the traffic. What's interesting about this is the awareness of people to you. I've really just gone through, right through the middle there. Can see on it. The bus driver let me go. That was easy, even in the middle of the stress. Okay, now we're on a two-way street. So, starting from dead stop. If you live in a city, this thing is amazing. There's a cycling way here. I can follow that. Oh, bound of a bounce, but it's good. Okay, I've noticed I do occupy quite a large amount of space on the cycleway. all my gear washing press start it says we've got half an hour okay yeah. right so the quickest way to get there is follow the main road we've got to cross the traffic this is interesting trying to maneuver with this thing on the big of a busy road be cool thank you grazie so they see you actually it's such a large object that people see you and they respect you interesting almost like driving a car but they're a bit more respectful I don't feel any stress from other road users that's interesting so let's roll in and then get some attention okay so questa è un test bike devo riconsegnare so non so dove le metti I'm in a corner, I want to show you how easy it is to get out of this corner. Okay, we're back in the centre now. More traffic. And we dry at home on the line. Goodbye wash and dry. Right, I can feel this road, it's really bumpy. It's actually okay. It's more comfortable than with a normal bike. The suspension works well. Let's do something, an emergency stop. So we're gonna imagine we're gonna stop. Wow, that stops really well. Oh my God, I just hit my knee. <laughs> it stops. The brakes work. Arrivato. I'm back. What an experience this was. This thing is amazing. So I crossed the city. I did about 10 miles total. Uh, I went, I followed all the traffic rules where I could ride on cycle lanes, I rode on cycle lanes, where I could ride in the traffic, I rode in the traffic. I did all the things I needed to do. I did that in about half the time it would take me to do that with a car. There was no problem parking. I was a bit worried about that. Where would I leave it if I have to park? But honestly, it was, it's actually not too big that you can put it in front of a shop and do what you need to do and then off you go again. And for those who are interested to know, for those 10 miles I used about 40% of the battery, but carrying 
more than 300 pounds of stuff. So that's including me and the stuff in the front. And then we've got the bike. I mean, we're talking three, 350 pounds. That's a lot of weight. Honestly, if you're looking to, and you're living in a city or some kind of environment where you need a car, but you need to carry stuff, this thing is very interesting. You can definitely carry more than you could on a motorbike. You carry more than you could in a little electric car or even like a small city car. It's a super interesting piece of kit. They thought about everything. It's really a very complete product that will work really well for any type of use that you might have with it in an urban environment. It's very comfortable to ride. The, you get used to it straight away, how you feel, how you move around stuff. As you can see in the video, it's very easy to maneuver around tight turns, etc. Uh, the hand position becomes very natural feeling eventually. I only banged my knee when I did an emergency stop because the brakes work so well. So that's my fault. But yeah, basically it's an epic bike and it really surprised me. So I reckon you can probably go up to about 20 miles one way, maybe 20 miles back in an extreme case, but re really in the range of about 10 miles where you need to go, this thing is really, really useful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next test.